Good evening, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Switch, and I thought I would review both the markets this evening, the QQQs and the SPY. So let's just let's take a look at this first. So the spiders made a brand new all-time high today. Did we hit 220? Yes, we did. Wow. All year. <laughs> wow. If we had not dropped to start off this year, yeah, just wait a minute. Let me just find the close of here. Last year was the close, 1231, 2015, was 203.87. Let me just figure something out here. Two hundred three eighty seven. Now, the low here for the year was one eighty four sixty four. Was the high today? Two nineteen twenty seven. Two nineteen twenty seven minus one eighty four forty nine. No, one eighty seven eighty nine. Two twenty twenty seven. No, two twenty eighteen. One eighty one oh two. I'll just wait a second. Two hundred three eighty-seven. Wow. If we had not gapped down to start the year from all that brouhaha from China, we would be close to two fifty. Actually, right now we'd be around two forty-three, two forty-five, depending on where we would have opened. Uh, which I think we would have opened with a gap up to start the year. In in this red bar, let me just blow this up. I believe that we would have opened the year not down. We would have been we would have opened the year in this bar for the calendar year 20, 2016 if this had not happened from China, but it did. It did we collapsed and then the rally that we've had and then we 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 still the fact that we ended up continuing to make brand new all-time highs despite the start off to the year. I've got to tell you people that is a huge sign of bullishness. I know no one believes me and I've been calling the market to make brand new all-time highs and I wasn't wrong. I wasn't wrong. In fact, I was right. When so many people were short and so many people thought we weren't going to do it, to start off the year, during the summer, during the months of August, and during this drop off here that even happened, pre-election period, during the futures overnight of, the, of when everyone realized Trump was going to win. I mean, there's just so many things that have happened that I've predicted well. I'm, I'm telling you that this is such a huge sign of bullishness for the market still to make brand new all-time highs this year in the spiders with the way that we opened the calendar year of 2016. And if we had not acted like that and been strong and traded very normal, which we didn't, we were sluggish this year. It was a sluggish year in the market. It was a choppy year in the market. If you don't have a strategy like I do where you were looking for something where you didn't need the market, which my golden gap strategy, the, the, the 26 points, you don't need the market. I don't have to have the market falling or rallying to do anything I do it at all. If you needed the market to take quality trades this year and make money, you were screwed. And that's the truth. It was a hard year for a lot of traders who sat in the sideline or lost. But I predicted this. It did it today. I'm not surprised. Uh, I will tell you one thing I am surprised about. Well, I'm not being surprised me anymore, but this. I felt that the QQQs, before all the horrible earnings that happened, you know, in the last two months that just never played out right, and the election, I, I felt that the QQQs would break a brand new all-time high before the spy would, but it didn't happen. Over 12050, we're still not there. In fact, we're two dollars away from that. It's not that much. It seems like a lot, but it's really not that much. But it could do it in the next couple of days. It could take till next week. There's a holiday. But I I really truly thought that the Qs were gonna do it at this point. We were so close. 
So the spy has been making new highs. Didn't didn't till recently, like I said today, with the crappy year we've had overall, or the choppy year. But I will tell you that the cues I were right there, and I thought they'd do it. So I didn't I didn't predict that the spy would make another high before the cues, and yet that's exactly what's happened. So look for the spy to continue up above and beyond 220. This was a significant number today, people. 220, 225. We hit over 220 today. Not only that, we did it in a gap up. We did in a gap up today and hit over 220 today in a holiday week. What was the volume? Not, not a lot of volume either. It's, it's, this is going to be a slow trading week. I'm taking off, but I mean, I couldn't ignore the fact that the market made the high today in the SPY. I just couldn't ignore it, and I predicted it for so long. And we did not reach the numbers that I predicted more than one year ago today because of the way that we opened on the calendar year and gapped down, which no one could have predicted. And I did warn people that barring a world war or a world calamity or, or events, that we were higher. I was right. We were higher, even with the world events. But this big gap down here and the collapse that continued into January and early February really totally messed up where the overall market could have gone for the year. But I will tell you one thing, look for 2017 to, to rectify and get into position for it to be a very bullish calendar year. You can rationalize all you want, what, why, this and the up, Trump, whatever. I don't even look at any of that. All I do is wake up in the morning and I read the gap and I rate the gap. You could have done it this morning in a bullish gap and a spiders and you could have looked at it. You could have said, I'm going to go long this. In fact, let's just look at the four minute chart. I just want to see how we opened. <clears throat> It's not even surprised. It's just couldn't. I mean, so predictable as I predicted it all. Wait a sec here. Well, it was just a normal rally. So we didn't we didn't open in swoosh. We just it was just a bullish gap that had an entry to go long, and you could have done it. You could have done it, and you could have been long all day. Have a great. Holiday, everyone. Have a very happy Thanksgiving, no matter where you are in the world. If you, even if you don't celebrate it, take a couple of days off. Relax, enjoy, spend time with your family, watch football, eat, drink, be merry, watch Christmas movies, do whatever you love to do, and take the time to enjoy yourself so we can come back next week and hit it hard to close out the calendar year of 2016 strong, which I am absolutely looking to do. Thanks, everyone, for watching. This is Melissa with the Stock Swoosh. If you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswoosh.com. One more class before the end of the year if you want to learn the Golden Gap. Now's your time to do it. December, you learn, you take the class, you do it, and go into 2017 ready to trade with me. Have a great night, everyone.